Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. The House of Representatives passing a resolution calling on Vice President Mike Pence to use the Constitution to remove President Trump from office. Lawmakers voting 223 to 205 on a resolution asking Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment. GOP Representative Adam Kinzinger was the lone Republican to vote in favor of the resolution. The amendment allows the VP and cabinet members to remove the president if he is deemed unfit for office, something that many Democrats say is the case. Now, following last week's Capitol siege, the resolution is essentially a symbolic move, though. It is non-binding, and Pence has stated that he will not go through with the maneuver, saying that it would not be in the best interest of the country. Federal officials say that they are bracing now for more violence ahead of today's likely impeachment vote against President Trump. Fences now surround the Capitol building, and metal detectors are now posted outside the House floor. The Army and Secret Service are working together to do additional background screening for those deployed to protect the capital city from a repeat performance. And warnings now are also in effect nationwide to all 50 states. An FBI bulletin warns of a potential uprising if the president is removed prior to January the 20th, Inauguration Day. But even if Trump is allowed to finish his term, the bulletin warns, quote, an identified group planning to storm the government offices in the District of Columbia and every state regardless. The FBI says that it is working now on identifying and disrupting people who incite violence. And the federal government also says that it has conducted readiness drills to ensure safety at President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. The U.S. COVID-19 vaccine campaign entering a new phase. The Department of Health and Human Services says that they are changing how the first doses of vaccines are allocated among the states. And they want the vaccinations to be available for people 65 years or older. The department is hoping that these changes, which include releasing reserved second doses, will allow more people to roll up their sleeves. Health experts say that the expansion of vaccine availability also addresses another problem. Some areas had more doses than people who were either eligible or willing to get a shot. When people are ready to get vaccinated, we're going to move right on to the next level so that there are not vaccine doses that are sitting in a freezer or refrigerator where they could be getting into people's arms. This comes as the U.S. has averaged more than 3,200 COVID-19 deaths reported per day over the past week. Now with more than 4,000 reported yesterday, according to Johns Hopkins University. All international air travelers will soon be required to have a negative COVID-19 test to enter the U.S. The director of the CDC signed an order this week for passengers showing proof of a negative test. The order takes effect on January the 26th. The rule states that all passengers have a negative test within three days of boarding their flights. Now, the CDC says that it's concerned about new variants of the virus that appear to be more transmissible. The CDC wants airlines to confirm the negative test of each passenger. Now, if a passenger does not take one, the airline is advised to not let them board. Our meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 Storm Track report. And how about a little wintry mix to start the day for those of you around Clark and Monroe counties? And you can see a little bit of sleet mixed in with the cold rain tracking to the north and east, and even a few snow flurries showing up just north of Monroeville. Now, this is not going to last very long. This is all going to be lifting northeast, and our sky is going to be clearing as we go through the morning. But in the pre dawn hours, those of you around US 84 are seeing a little bit of light snow mixed in with the rain. Those of you along the coast, you're dealing with just straight rain and our sky is still cloudy with a north wind. But over the next several hours, not only does the rain stop, but we get the sky to clear. The sunshine finally returns and as a result, our high temperatures will finally get over 50 degrees. We've had two days in a row where we've been stuck in the 40s, but 50s return today and we could get up to 60 degree territory 
by tomorrow. So this morning the sky finally clears. Then as we head in towards this afternoon, expect temperatures to get above 50. And as we look ahead, our nights will stay chilly. So let's go through the Fox 10 future cast as we run the clock forward. Not only do we see the rain stop, but the sky clears between now and noon and only a few fair weather clouds will exist for the second half of the day and this evening. Here's a glimpse at how the next seven days stack up. Temperatures get into the 50s today, 60 degree territory tomorrow. The sky goes sunny. Temperatures flirt with freezing tonight. Most nights other than Thursday night will be in the 30s and we're expecting just minor chances of rain as we head in toward next week, including during the MLK holiday on Monday. We will talk much more weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.